We begin in Jerusalem, where at least four Israelis have been killed and several others injured in what police describe as a terrorist attack. Two men armed with a pistol, axes and knives carried out the attack at a synagogue in the Hanoff neighbourhood in the west of the city during morning prayers. It's the deadliest in Jerusalem in years and is bound to ratchet up fears of sustained violence in the city already on edge amid soaring tensions over a contested holy site. Officials say the men, both Palestinians from East Jerusalem, were later shot dead by police. We came to pray this morning. We were coming into the, into the synagogue and we heard gunshots from downstairs and... Um, you know, we heard one shot, two shots, and then, a, then a flurry of shots, at least five or six or seven shots. We all ran out. We understand that somebody was killed or you know, seriously wounded downstairs. And everybody called the police and, and uh, they came about 10 minutes later. And that's all I can tell you. It's not immediately known if the men were affiliated with any militant group. Hamas, the militant Palestinian group that runs the Gaza Strip, has praised the attack, however, but stopped short of claiming responsibility. In the meantime, US Secretary of State John Kerry has declared the incident to be an act of pure terror. The French President, Francois Hollande, has also issued a condemnation. People who had come to worship God in the sanctuary of the synagogue were hatcheted and hacked and murdered in that holy place uh, in an act of pure terror and senseless brutality and murder. I call on the Palestinian leadership at every single level to condemn this in the most powerful terms. This violence has no place anywhere. As I speak, terrible attacks are being committed, including in Jerusalem now, where we have learned of the attack on a synagogue with four Israelis killed. We must do something about this problem in the Middle East, this conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. But never ever accept terrorism. There is no justification for that. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has also condemned the incident. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is now meeting with security officials, warning of a harsh response. For more on